How should you be spending your money? That's a question that I've recently been confronted with. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I think is the best way that you should be spending money. And I hope you enjoy. Don't save your money because penny pinching will keep you poor for the rest of your life. I'm not saying that you shouldn't save any money. You should, of course, have some kind of emergency fund that you can fall back on when something happens. You should be trying to maximize the amount of money that you're earning rather than minimize the amount of money that you're spending. This can be done in multiple ways. For example, by learning a new skill, learning some kind of high income skill, or maybe using the skills that you already have and becoming better and better at them in order to increase the amount of money you can earn from it. You can also turn hobbies into something lucrative. A lot of people have done that. It doesn't matter what the hobby is, but if you're the very best or if you're one of the best in that domain, you can make a good amount of money. If you, for example, think about professional athletes, they're the very best in the world and so they have their skills really honed in and they make the most amount of money. And even people that play video games, for example, people that do esports, are the very best in the world and so they make money and chances are after having heard that just now you've already formed a bunch of excuses in your brain why you can't be the best in the world at anything but really ask yourself why it is that you think that what do you think that the others have that you don't honestly really try to think about that maybe even take a pen and paper and journal about it because that's the kind of limiting belief that the people that actually succeed don't have. It never occurs to them that they don't have something that others do. They set a goal and take step after step in order to achieve that goal. And that's how they actually do. Being incredibly skilled in your domain is also an advantage when it comes to job stability because skilled people are needed in every kind of economy. Even in a recession, you need experts. You need the best of the best to do the work that other people cannot do. So you're the very last person to be laid off. So what I'm saying is, don't invest in assets, invest in yourself so that you become an asset that actually earns more money. Now you can invest in yourself by means that actually do not cost any money. A lot of information on the internet is free and there's a bunch of good information on the internet. A lot of books can be found for free on the internet, but if you prefer reading physical books, you can also buy the books to get the information. You can visit seminars, some of which are also free. You can follow online courses and online lectures for free. Harvard, for example, has a bunch of free online lectures. And if there's, for example, a specific business that you want to get into, and you know someone that's already well established in that business, you could consider getting a mentorship from them. Now, this also doesn't have to cost money. For example, if you know the person, they might give you guidance for free, but a lot of the times, mentorships do cost money because the time of those well-established people is worth quite a bit of money. Now, talking about mentorship on the internet has become kind of a cringy thing because all of the finance gurus are trying to sell you their mentorship programs. But a lot of people, and I'll even say most people that start businesses today, have some kind of mentorship or some kind of guidance, at least in the beginning. You might also consider getting a degree if the job that you want to get actually requires a degree. So you should invest in yourself and in your capacity to earn money because that will pay greater dividends than any asset or stock that you could ever buy. So I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe and comment for the algorithm and I'll see you in the next one.